the square root of 169 is 13. When solving a problem like this, we are finding the square root of the original number. The square root of x is a number, n, that satisfies this equation. x equals n squared. Every positive number has two square roots, a positive and a negative. The positive square root is called the principal square root, and it is generally understood to be the one we are interested in finding. In this case, we want the positive square root of 169. To solve for the square root of 169, we can factor the number under the radical sign. Prime factorization of the first several prime numbers will help us see which ones might be factors of the target number. We divide 169 by each prime number until we find one that factors. Only one prime number, 13, is a factor, and it times itself gives our target number, 169. Now we can rewrite the original problem, substituting our found factor for the original number. The square root of 169 equals the square root of 13 times 13, or the square root of 13 squared. This equation is technically true, but we cannot leave the exponent under the radical. To remove exponents from under radical signs, we divide even exponents by 2. Then, move the base number, in this case 13, and its resulting exponent outside the radical sign. Move 13 to the first power outside the radical sign and leave 1 under the radical sign, since the square root of 169 cannot be equal to nothing. 13 to the first power times the square root of 1 is the square root of 169 in radical form. It is the simplest the answer can be while including a radical symbol. The new result looks complicated, but if you simplify the parts, you find it is not. 13 to the first equals 13, and the square root of 1 equals 1. This yields 13 times 1, which is 13. Another way to find the square root of 169 is to estimate using known squares. You probably instantly recall 12 squared is 144. Is 169 more or less than 144? It is more. So you need a bigger number. Let's try 15. We calculate 15 squared equals 225, which is too big. We have now learned the square root of 169 is somewhere between 12 and 15. Try the two remaining whole numbers. 14 squared equals 196, so we know it is now between 12 and 14. That leaves 13. 13 squared equals 169. You can verify that you have the correct square root of a number by multiplying the number times itself to see if it equals the target number. 13 times 13 equals 169.